Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play on the Factory. This is episode 88. Okay, so I did a little bit of work off camera. And uh, let's see here. So I did some work with some ZPM Cyclones. I automated Dark Solarium. I also automated Draconium Injectors. Bats binder oh yeah so that's the soul binder that will make us an item using a bat soul and then solars so let's start with the solars i think as much i showed hmm well yeah i have the wyvern solar panels now and we've got about a million and a half rf per tick so I think we're good for a while in fact our solar panel power is now double what our dynamos are offering and i think at this point the solar panels are going to make the diamond supply back up because it won't be using those diamonds in fact we have about six hundred and forty nine thousand diamonds okay so next up uh draconium injectors see we have them right here there's a quest. So yeah, these are just basically the previous tier with dragon eggs, wyvern cores, nether stars. Which reminds me how many eggs we have left. Hmm. So with this, we can go down to our system right here, and I gave it a little bit of prettying up. It's got the facades and everything. So I'm just gonna break these off and then we'll replace them with the draconium ones what the f okay that was weird which is the draconium ones of course will just allow us to make better items so there's one there's two and before i forget i need to set these up with a right click no right click no uh right click Shift right click and make it so that the single item mode is on active. Otherwise, the draconium injector will be able to receive a stack of an item. So now every one of these is on every one of these is on a uh, single mode. So that is good. Let me just turn on my streamer mode here. I, Okay, so yeah, every one of these will take only one item at a time now that they're on the single item active mode. Right, so that's set up. Um, so while we're down here, I also did some ZPM Cyclone setup. So this tower is going to accept deuterium, and it's going to spit out uh, tritium. And tritium is what is used to make the dark solarium which is which comes from dark steel ingots and the solarium ingots and that's a big rf or eu per tick requirement and it takes about a minute but i believe this is overclocked to about eight seconds right now and then as for these cyclones well these accept hydrogen and they will turn it into deuterium which the deuterium again comes over here and it gets processed. Okay, uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, so I also fixed the large projector. I just, uh, I broke down and I just broke everything and used the feature of the controller where if you were to, if, you, if I mouse over this little button here, it says sneak to freeze the current preview to be able to preview in world. So if you do that, actually, can I do it now? Yeah, so you could do it without the controller, which is pretty cool. So I just placed it down. Um, and then built it. Now, fortunately, the projector preview was orientated properly, so the controller was right here. Oh yeah, it doesn't have power right now because I didn't hook up the power yet which it should have a UV input, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think I've done a little bit of touring for now, a little bit 
I think I've done all the touring for now that I can do. Unless there's something else I missed. Cyclones, the Stellarium, Injectors. Yeah, I did all that. Okay. Okay, so I'll get rid of these. Get rid of that. Now, the next thing I want to do... I want to get into Tier 7 Microminers. Because this is going to be a big step forward in our progression. But also, the Wetware... I think I set this up already. Can I request? What are we missing? Oh, the Tritanium. Okay. So what do we need for Tritanium fusing? We are going to need Duranium and Tritanium. Or Titanium. So I don't think we have Duranium yet, right? No. Okay. Uh, let's see, Tray. I wonder if this will tell me how much Tritanium, or actually, Tritanium. Uh, let's see, Tritanium frame. This will be a good thing to use. Okay, so we're gonna need Tritanium at least for the generator. And the mainframe. Let's say I wanted like 64 of these. How bad would that be? Uh, poopy. How do I? There we go. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Save. Uh, where's the... There we go. I thought I already set this up. What the, hell? what the fudge? Oh, get rid of it. Thank you. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, lathe. And... The plates. Um... Okay, so we're gonna need about... So we want a hundred frames for some reason. Nineteen thousand buckets. That would come around to forty buckets of uranium, and the uranium is radon and gallium together. So all in all, we're looking at about. Let's see, what's our radon supply like? Okay, we got about four thousand buckets. Hmm. Titanium, we're going to make a, a, a smelter for titanium. Gallium. Um, it's about 40 buckets of gallium. It's about 60 buckets of titanium. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What's our what's the best extractor here? I guess. Um, uh, ma ma ma. What do I want to do here? So titanium. We need about four hundred titanium ingots, and gallium. About two hundred gallium ingots. Uh, we have gallium. And then titanium. I think that's about enough. Did I not make the extractor? Wait, what are you missing here? Pump. Ah. Uh, you know what? I don't need to worry about LUV over IV, so we'll just go with the IV. And, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is set up the fuser, the fusion ring to process this, um, these ingots, or the fuel. And I'll see about getting into the tier 7 automation for the microminer. So, the draconium heavy plates, that isn't a problem so much. It's going to be... 
this, which, okay, it doesn't require the Tritanium, which is good. That is a fuse recipe, so that's simple enough. I think everything in here is doable. Uh, we are going to need to automate the dislocator, which also requires the Draconic tier, so that's a good thing we made that. So yeah, I think that's doable. While that does its crafting, I'm going to figure out... Oh wait, uh, I need a ultimate table, of course. There's the extractor. So, oh, oh, damn it. Ultimate. Now, I remember something being told to me in a comment about parallelizing the tables here, and I think it was in relation to making it so that when I'm request, when I have four tables for one recipe, I want to make the pattern give the equivalent of four um, outputs. So four times the input, four times the output, which makes sense to me because if it were that way, then it would split as from what I remember, the tables only require, only accept one instance of an item, um, per recipe, right? Um, not sure if that made sense, but let me just go to the, ah, room over here. Right. So like for instance, this, let's say we're trying to make an empowered payless crystal block. Then the items will come into, well, oh, uh, this is the one I'm talking about. So a crystal matrix ingot, let's see, a uh, crystal matrix, right? So each of the ultimate crafting tables will only accept one item in whatever slot they go into. So for this, I would want to make it so it's four times the input. Four times diamonds, four times lattice, four times the stars, and four times the ingots. That way, it would split among each of these four uh, tables. So yeah, that's probably what I'm going to be doing later on down the road. All right, so we're going to want a unpackager and a packager. And yeah, I really should stop doing this. I should make like fewer uh, unpack or fewer packagers so that. It will just, um, can I do this? Apparently so. Uh, make fewer packagers so that I can just, um, uh, compress all the recipes into just one or two or three packagers, not having, and not have a packager everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Words are hard. So now with the holder or the package or with the table in place, I'm going to go and set up the, oh, I need a holder. We're going to see about making the tier seven recipe. Now, right away, obviously it's not going to make because we're missing quite a few things. Um, some few things that we'll be needing to fuse inject. Oh, shoot. Give me a second. Okay, so here we have the seven, re the tier seven recipe in a holder here. Oh, I forgot the most important part. We need the ultimate doodad on the configuration. All right, so now that's in place. We go back over to the ultimate table. Oh, creeper. Oh, my quiver is in the inventory, or the AE2 system, unfortunately. Uh, there we go. What? Ah, uh, there we go. Never mind, they were in my bag. Okay. Oh, so, <clears throat> if I go back over to the terminal here... It's going to tell us that we are needing 
a field generator, a ender energy manipulator, energy core stabilizer, and the warp engines, of course. That's going to take a little bit of crafting and fusion setup. So why don't we get right to it? I'm going to take these packagers out of the system here. So that I can set them up. And we're going to need some more cobble. All right. Now for this, I think we'll start off with the ener the ender energy manipulator. So ender and energy manip package. And then we'll take our package holder. And voila. And we get rid of that. Get rid of that. Save. Uh, next. Or actually, I don't want to do that just yet. Um, actually, I need that. Package. Wait, oh, wait, what? Get package in there, yeah. That goes in there. Yeah, and yeah. So, we'll grab our package. Ender. End. And there we go. So that's gonna craft up relatively quickly, I believe. It shouldn't be too complicated. Okay. Um, so you're right. What I might do. Okay, so this is doable in a assembly line. This is gonna take crystal circuits so crystal uh, the one slot and the two slots so eight of each and uh what it's gonna need a one two three four twelve slots assembly line okie doke let's see what can i do here This is the wrong side. Where am I? There we go. So what is this one? It's sterilized growth medium. And unfortunately, I may have to make another assembly line. One that will start, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I might have to knock a wall out here. Something like this. Yeah, so back to my thought here. Uh, let's see what. Let me do this. Uh, soldier and ally. So we're gonna need a at least at a sixteen long assembly line. Let's see, four, eight, twelve, fourteen long assembly line. For this bad boy. And that's going to be 11. So I think that's what I may do. Is make a. 14 long. Assembly line. For the upcoming future. Let's see if I'm knocking this. Wall out a bit. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I will come back after a while, after I've created this extra big assembly line, and we will continue on with the rest of the crafting here, okay? Be back shortly. Okay, I'm back. So, 
I've got the big boy assembly line all set up here. It's going off of a UVCEF, so that is going to be good for future proofing. I've also got the setup down here working, or a setup at least. So now all I need to do though is take the holders here and set them up. So load that. It's going to be empty, of course. Let's go to the seven, uh, the tier seven minor, and we're going to set this up. Oh, well, good. They already are configured for crystals, crystal circuits. That is. I think I'm going to need to set up a uh, osmium wire. Um, recipe. So that was the LUV. So what am I missing? Okay, so just the osmium wire. That's 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 okay. We can get that done. And I still haven't forgotten that I need to go back to the energy ender manipulator package doodad. Okay, so fine osmium. Make sure that's on the right. Wait, is that osmium? Yeah. Right, set up. Do we have osmium wire? Yeah, we do. So that will go in there. And now should be able to request a where is it? If you'll generate, yes, we can. Okay, awesome. So without crafts, we're gonna go back to our back to our <clears throat> Infusion setup. Uh, wrong floor. There we go. So where were we? I think we got... Oh, uh, yeah, I had the package right here. So I grabbed that when I was uh, off camera. So now with the actual item packager, we'll set this up to accept the package. Load. Uh, Ender energy. I get rid of all this. Add that. And we should be good to go. Pop that in. Oh, that one. Oh god, I gotta take up was bad. Or heartburn rather. Awesome. So that was uh, doable on the first try. Uh, so that might take a while. What can we do in the meantime? Uh, do we have the heavy plating yet? Okay, we do. Uh, back to the miner again. So the warp engine, that's something we can do right now. Or part of it anyway. Warp engine. Warp engine. We're gonna need the recipe. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna need to save that for later. Cause because of the advanced dislocator, this is gonna have MBT data on it. So once I get the advanced dislocator automated with the fusion injection system, then I can finish off with this pattern here. Uh, that being said, thruster, I think I need dark solarium thruster for one and how convenient I already have this setup as well as the dark solarium the flight control this is made with a empty control unit with a batsel and a binder and for some reason there's a gas variant don't know why you'd want to spend 300 experience but okay So that was the Dark Solarium Thruster, right? Uh, what else do we need to craft? This and... Might... Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, now that's not as bad as I thought. Wait, locator. Okay, we don't have that yet. I need to verify if this is even going to work. Okay. Seems doable. Okay. I think we're fine. 
So what was the other thing that I needed? I think that's all of it other than the dislocators here. How is the field generator doing? Not done yet. But it's making them wet wares. Uh, I do believe though. Manipulator is done. Is there a quest for this? I don't think so yet. Okay, no problem. Uh, so that's, we got about 12 more circuits to go on that front and then it's still making the wet rest circuits. That might take a while. So I'm just trying to think on how I want to prepare for this. Parallelizing for sure, but auto stocking is going to be uh, a bigger help. So I think I might just actually let me just see what else there is to do. Probably have that. Uh, this we can probably set up. Although that would probably I could probably just do this off camera. So the dislocator, I think we can do this real quick because this might be a good example of MBT setup. Okay, so we have a dislocator. Now normally this thing allows you to have a teleport system, but with just a dislocator, it's going to be set to only one point in the world, in which in, in, in that case you would want to get a dislocator pedestal, which will allow you to hold the dislocator and you just click it when you want to go somewhere. Now, if you made the advanced dislocator, this is the portable version and you can use it whenever, wherever. It is also powered by uh, ender, ender pearls. Right then, so for the dislocator um, empowering or packaging, let's get a package going. And then probably what I'll do off camera is set up the rest of the fusion recipes. And then next episode, I'll come back and craft the, um, the whole shebang. Come on. Okay. So advance disloc package. Okay. So here is our package holder advanced dislocator. So right at the bat, we're going to get rid of that, of course, and that, and put that in. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. Now, but with the actual package, wait, not that. With the actual package, I'm going to want that dislocator I just made and set it up in the pattern. Let's see. Oh, that was quick. Okay, so where oh, I didn't grab them before. Okay, that's the one I want. Over here. Load. Advanced dis locator. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all that. We're gonna put the dislocator in there and the package. And that should be a completed working recipe. Let's see what happens. Once I request up, I'm going to request two of these because I want one for myself. And look at that. It went right away. Oh, uh, can I get up there? There we go. So there's this locator. It's getting charged and turned into the advanced. We're going to be needing a lot of these. So it's good that we got this automated and just take a look at the time here. We are at about 30 minutes now. So I think this is a good spot to finish off. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and set up the particle generator here. And that's pretty simple. It's just blaze rods, a core, the powered Restonia, as well as the empowered diamantine. And everything else is good to go because this 
warp engine is going to require the dislocators. So like I said before, uh, when I go and set up this pack, uh, this pattern, I'm going to delete these two from like the AE2 terminal and put in the advanced dislocator that I made from the automated system. And that should make a complete package or recipe. Okay, so where is that dislocator? Is there a quest for this? No, okay. So what I'm just gonna do is, oh, let me just uh, put this in the world. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Actually, I'm just gonna let the video look at this and this will be a, a title card. Oh, uh, there we go. All right, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you next time. Uh, please leave a like or comment down below and I will see you then. Ta-ta!